Shin Song Rog is one of the leading actors in South Korea. He continuously produces successful dramas, and his roles in the dramas always become fan favorites. He can perform as an antagonist character that everyone hates as well as the leading character. Although he likes to keep some of his personal life to himself, especially regarding his family, he has shared many interesting things about his life and his work. Check out these 10 facts you might not know about Shin Song Rog. He had initially aspired to become a basketball player. Sometimes it's hard to picture our favorite actors in a different field of work. They have so much charisma that it seems like their path to stardom was inevitable, but that's not always the case. Many of the famous actors you see today had different dreams and aspirations growing up. Shin Song Rog was originally a basketball player. However, his dream of basketball stardom was cut short due to an injury he sustained in high school. A hip surgery led to him quitting the sport. Although disappointed, it was at this point that he decided to pursue a degree in acting and theater at university. His role in My Love from the Star put him on the map. Since his debut as an actor, his most popular drama yet was the 2013 SBS drama My Love from the Star, in which he appeared as a villainous businessman. He played the villain so convincingly that it took a few different projects for viewers to see him in a potential hero role instead. In fact, the actor continues to play a number of memorable villainous roles. His character in My Love from the Star was another example of a killer hiding in plain sight. His emotionless, almost playful smile right before he committed crimes, as well as his famous ring, induced chills in viewers worldwide. He is also a theater musical actor. Before becoming famous through small screen roles, he was known amongst theatergoers for the countless roles he's performed live on stage. Best known for his work in professional Korean musical theater productions of such classics as Singin' in the Rain and Fiddler on the Roof. Despite branching out to film and television, he has maintained that his heart will always belong to the stage as he said, I feel more affection toward the stage. I think it is the stage where actors learn about life and understand the meaning of acting. It is where I learned how to act and where I gained confidence. I think the core of my life will remain on the stage. According to him, the musical was like his old home, and it made him what he is today, so he couldn't stop performing the musical, no matter how busy he was. He filmed on wires for three days in cold weather. The actor, who played a scary villain in the hit drama My Love from the Star, braved the freezing cold weather for the most important scene in episode 14. Not only did he have to ensure that everything worked out with fellow actor, the cameras, and the stunt team, but he also went through multiple rehearsals to make sure that his execution was on point, as well as to prevent any safety incidents from occurring. He ended up requesting for the originally planned height to be raised even further to increase the tension during the scene. He filmed for three days on wires at a height of 10 meters, 32.8 feet, above the ground. The production team praised his efforts, saying, he showed his passion during filming and spared no effort, even lying on the ground despite the rainy weather. It must hard acting like a sociopath, but he perfectly executed the wire action scenes, and we were amazed by his passion and wide spectrum of acting. Thanks to him, we were able to shoot the most impactful scene of episode 14. He suffered an injury on set while filming The Last Empress. Shin Song Rog starred in SBS's drama The Last Empress as the Emperor, a powerful ruler who is well respected by the people. He is talented and eloquent, but beneath his pleasant appearance lies an ugly personality. While filming the drama, he suffered an injury on set and underwent surgery on his fractured toe. He soon recovered and then reassured fans of his recovery in an Instagram post. He took perfume because he wanted to try romance at least once. The actor starred in KBS 2's Perfume as the male lead, and this is his first time acting in a romantic comedy. The drama tells the story of a genius designer who has fallen into a creative slump. Rather than playing an evil character, Shin Song Rog shared that he wanted to try romance. He explained, I thought that I wouldn't be able to star in a romantic comedy if I got any older, so I wanted to do it at least once. It was fun. I didn't feel at any point that the genre wasn't working for me. After having done romantic comedy, I want to try a different strong character again. He was supposed to star in The Penthouse. In the hit drama The Penthouse, Shin Song Rog originally got the role of Ju Dun Tae, the head of an investment firm and genius in the real estate industry. However, he stepped down from the drama due to scheduling conflicts, and he was replaced by Om Ki Joon. 
Ironically, his drama Kairos struggled with ratings because of the major success of The Penthouse, its competitor in the time slot, both aired on Monday-Tuesday evenings, although Kairos started 30 minutes earlier. He used to think he had no talent for acting. Acting is a talent that can be polished. If the desire to act is based on a love for the art, and if that desire is accompanied by a bit of talent, then yes that love will indeed greatly compensate for minimum talent. In an interview, Shin Song Rog talked in depth about his acting. He shared, in the past, I often thought that I had no talent in acting. I heard, you're bad at acting, a lot. I thought I had to act because I didn't have anything I knew how to do. I think this is my most stable period since I started my acting career. His self-confidence also increased along with the praise he received, thanks to his consistently convincing acting in various projects. He married a non-celebrity. In June 2016, he got married in Hawaii to his wife, a non-celebrity. He revealed his marital status to the public after being married for two years, and they have a cute daughter. His wife is an ordinary working woman at an ordinary office, but she gained popularity due to her actress-like appearance and beauty. In an episode of Master in the House the actor said, personally, I recommend marriage. I've heard from a lot of people around me that I did well to get married. I also think that my career improved after my marriage. He once cried during a script reading for Kairos. Kairos is a time-crossing fantasy thriller about the successful and workaholic construction company director who falls into despair after his daughter is kidnapped. The actor once talked about a time he once cried during a script reading for the drama. He explained, it's about a man whose daughter is kidnapped, and then he changes the past. So I was reading the script, and after my character's daughter returns alive, he says, I'm sorry that I wasn't able to play with you or spend a lot of time with you until now. But right now, I'm not able to play with my daughter that often in real life. He said it, before breaking off, because he was getting emotional again just thinking about it. I'm tearing up again, he laughed and tried to fight back his tears.